Hey, it's Casey Orr and Sean Whitfield with iTruckTV.com. It's time for your NASCAR update, and we're going to get you up to speed. It's Sean Whitfield and Casey Orr from Valvoline Race and Radio, and this is iTruckTV.com up to speed. And today we're recapping our second run through the tricky triangle, the GoBowling.com 400 from Pocono Raceway, a race that it looked like Jeff Gordon was going to get his first victory of the season. I'm there, Sean. I'm getting ready to text you. Congratulations or call you, or I figured we were going to go out for a celebratory margarita because Gordon's finally going to win. But then the best car of the day, probably the guy that deserves it, Casey Kane on the final restart, just puts the pedal to the metal and gets his second victory of the season, um, winning the race at Pocono. That's right. And uh, would you say it's the best car or maybe the best driver one? I would say definitely the best car. I think driver. I think Jeff Gordon just got outdriven. The be- well, the best driver, um, Jimmy Johnson, blew his attire, finished 13th, and was still able to increase his points lead. So that's actually more impressive. Than, to me than winning a race but I think when it came down to it Casey Kane's car would stick in the corner where Jeff Gordon's wouldn't and uh, I think Gordon even admitted he got out drove but Casey really did have the car of the day he was the class of the field and he showed it in the last two laps you know we saw a lot of actions in the race on Sunday at Pocono there were nine caution flags for 35 laps and 27 lead changes among 14 drivers but uh, Jimmy Johnson was on the course light pole but not a lot of luck for Jimmy uh, on Sunday but uh, he did manage to get a top 15 finish All right, let's move into the uh, results of the GoBowling.com 400 at Pocono Raceway. And Casey Kane was our winner in the Farmers Insurance Chevrolet. Second was Jeff Gordon. Third, Kurt Busch. Fourth, Ryan Newman. Fifth was Dale Earnhardt Jr. Sixth was Brad Keselowski. Seventh, Joey Logano. Eighth, Kyle Busch. Ninth, Tony Stewart. And tenth was Greg Biffle. Some other notables, Sean. Clint Boyer finished 14th. Kevin Harvick, 17th. Matt Kenseth got in trouble early on, finished 20th. 22nd, go all the way down to the very bottom in 43rd place, Denny Hamlin. Sean, he got in trouble, finished dead last at Pocono. I think his chances of making the chase, he better win a lot of races. I don't think he's going to do it now. It's, uh, I do agree with that. All right, moving into the driver standings of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series after our race at Pocono. Jimmy Johnson continues a strong lead, even picks up an extra point or two. He is 77 points ahead of second place Clint Boyer. In third is Carl Edwards. Fourth, Kevin Harvick. Fifth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Sixth, Kyle Busch. Seventh is Matt Kenseth. Eighth, Casey Kane. Ninth, Jeff Gordon. And tenth, Greg Biffle. Eleven spot belongs to Tony Stewart. Twelfth, Brad Keselowski, who had a good run at Pocono. But Brad does not have a victory this year. If the chase were to start today, you'd have to go all the way down to 14th place Martin Truex Jr. But right behind him, 15th place Ryan Newman. They both have victories. But if the chase were to start today, Tony Stewart and Martin Truex Jr. would be your wife. Wild card winner. You know, Casey, in a, the driver standings right now, there is a lot of really tough competition in towards the back. You got Jeff Gordon in ninth spot. Then you go all the way down to 14th position of Martin Truex Jr. There's only 18 points that separates ninth place to 14th place. So any given week, we could see some drivers go in and out of the top 10 in the Sprint Cup Series. You know, Sean, we're getting ready to go road course racing at Watkins Glen. Uh, it's easy to blow a tire and go a lap down, and you never get a lap back at racetracks like that it's easy to have problems to get caught up in a wreck that's not your doing when we go to road courses um 18 points is nothing it's not even half a race so there's still a lot to be decided as we get closer to the chase but it un, the fact that victories can help you out and help clinch your spot in this chase i think it underscores number one how important they are and number two Jeff Gordon really could have used that win at Pocono. Yes, uh, coming up uh, this weekend at Watkins Glen is race number 22, and we get to race number 26, and that's when it decides who will be into the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series chase, where we have the final 10 races of 2013. Of course, you can catch all the latest news and results and driver standings on Valvoline Racing Radio right here on Rock 105, and you can uh, catch us in Chattanooga, Tennessee, if you happen to be passing through the area. Also, you can listen to us on iHeartRadio each and every Monday and Thursday at 6. That does it for this week's Up to Speed on iTruckTV.com. Right here on the NASCAR NASCAR update at iTruck TV, where Sean and I keep you up to speed.